Why is it that we've accepted this notion that government tells us everything that we can do with our own bodies? Yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah. But this has led to is a complex problem and a real hindrance in, in the medical field. Because what it has done now today, it has uh, allowed our governments to start regulating things like uh, vitamins and nutritional supplement substances, alternative health care, and also it has led to this bizarre thing that, that compassionate conservatives do and say. They go into states where the state passes a law that says that people that are dying with cancer or AIDS can't even smoke marijuana even if it's healthy. They shouldn't violate the they shouldn't they, they shouldn't violate the state laws. And the other sense is people should have freedom of choice. That's yeah. what this country is all about. Yeah. You know, just the other day on television, one of one of our uh, candidates in the Republican side was flat out asked by an individual. It looked like he was in a wheelchair. It looked like he was suffering from multiple sclerosis, and he said he, he was benefited by smoking marijuana. And he asked one of the candidates, and he said flat out, he didn't use the words, but his answer essentially said, I'll still arrest you. I don't believe that you're allowed to do that. These kind of problems can always be, de uh, de be de de dealt with by just looking to freedom of choice. You don't have to endorse. See, I endorse freedom of choice for everybody here. But that doesn't mean that I will endorse everything that you do. You know, and that's a big difference. And that is the Dr. Paul, yeah. what do you think about the amendment to the Higher Education Act, which to date has denied 200,000 students federal financial aid because they have drug convictions? Well, I wouldn't enforce those drug laws. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you.